I like this sort of relaxed, like I can just bullshit about shit. It reminds me of when I played Dark Souls like way back before I was streaming. Oh, I gotta remember how to play this fucking game. Right, okay. Reminds me of when I played Dark Souls and I would just, I mean obviously I wasn't streaming it so no one was like there. I was talking to myself basically. That's my normal means of communication with anyone in the world is me talking to myself. But uh, <laughs> it reminds me of that where I would just bullshit how am I supposed to do that one? It reminds me of that a lot, where I would just bullshit and talk about, like, what I considered to be interesting stuff. Some people might not agree, but I know Dalton told me he really likes those. Those are, like, his favorite videos of mine. Uh, obviously, he's a little bit uh, <laughs> on his own with that one. Fuck! But yeah, I don't know, there's been some interesting stuff going on. Like, that I've been kind of- I'm actually really thinking about making some... Okay. Been really thinking about making some videos about some of these things. Like, uh... Well, one, this one I'm not thinking about making a video about. It's just something I've seen, uh, some talk of. Is... The Thought Audit. I don't know if anyone saw the... The Thought Audit, where a bunch of... A bunch of guys have been... Okay, I really am not understanding what I'm doing wrong here. I've, I might have to think about this. But a bunch of guys have been, uh... Reporting Twitch thoughts and, like, people on Instagram. Women who sell their bodies, uh, pictures of their bodies. For money online, basically, or for views. And make- and don't pay their taxes because they're stupid bitches that don't realize you have to pay taxes for that kind of thing. Uh, people have been reporting them to the IRS. It's pretty funny. Like, I'm I'm pretty happy that it exists. I think I need to just get way more momentum to be able to reach that. Or something. Maybe I need to go a different way? I don't think so. But yeah, I, I don't really have... I don't know if I have too much to say about that. I just think if you're not aware of the fact that the thought audit is going on, I would look into it, watch a YouTube video on it or so, because uh, it's, it's pretty fucking worthwhile. It's a, it's a pretty good... Oh fuck, I didn't... Pretty good way to have a laugh, you know, is the thought audit. It's, it's pretty good to see these women who have been selling themselves, selling their sexuality. Tell me about your sexuality that's in your DNA. If anyone gets that Charlie Rose quote. <laughs> but, uh, didn't he get fired for being like a sex fiend? I'm not, I'm not surprised. Uh, it's good. It's just funny. It's just it's just a real good time that they're they're finally realizing that hey, if you're going to make this into a fucking business and have it all like the record of it online for everyone to see, you're going to pay your fucking taxes like the rest of us. And it's like, yeah, I don't like taxes. Who does? Who fucking ha you know, who likes taxes? But like if I'm going to pay them, then you're going to fucking pay them, you whore. Where is everyone? Uh there's two two things. One is I did not mention that I was streaming today. Earlier in the day, I am honestly, somebody help me, my brain is not working. Why am I not ma able to make it th to this? Uh, yeah, part of it is I didn't mention the stream at all today, and it's been two days of streaming in a row, so I think everyone assumes I'm not streaming. That's how it goes. People will show up as we go on here. In addition to that, uh... Something. In addition to that, something. In addition to that, we're playing a story about my uncle, which is a game that a lot of people just don't have any interest in. You, I mean, you can see the sheer difference between something like this... And me playing Victoria 2, where like, it's like a, it's like a ten times difference. What am I fucking doing? How do I get more momentum to that? I could maybe cheese it and use a speedrunning strat if I do this right. One of these rocks will probably... Oh, fuck, fuck! Great. But yeah, there's that element. Nobody cares about this game. It's not like it has a story or a... Like I said, I kind of prefer playing this sort of thing occasionally, so I can talk about shit like the thought audit, or like philosophical topics, or it's like when I play, uh... When we played... Not Dokoban Kingdom. Fortune Club. Fortune Street. <laughs> Fortune Club. How do you do that? I'm trying to clip into somewhere so I can try the speedrunning strat. Uh, but it's like when you play... When I play something like that and I just talk about religion... You know, I like these kind of streams occasionally. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, so something like that. If I can... Okay. You're watching me discover speedrunning live, so... Ooh. But 
But that doesn't actually help me out much. Ooh. It gives me some good air, but it doesn't actually help me out because it uses up one of my flings. Well, I mean, it is a fling. It uses up one of my grapples, but doesn't get me any further than if I had just jumped and used a grapple. Um, oh, wait. I could... I just realized. Okay. I know one way to do this. Is to get on top of this fucking thing. Yeah, duh. Okay. Or wait, would that just make it worse? Mm. No, it should make it better. No, because I'll be able to run and jump from on the top of that thing, and that should help. Fuck. Nice view. Whoa! Oh, right, I have the rockets. Oh, right, I have the rockets. Yep, I'm just an idiot and forgot one of the basic mechanics that we just... We just got it, to be fair. The thing with this game is there are several other indie games like it out right now that are the same thing with different settings. Give the thoughts tax exemption. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd consider thoughts like a, a religious affiliation or anything that really deserves an exception. Okay, so I gotta do this, and then I gotta use the rocket. Okay, easy. And then... I almost don't make it. There we go. Perfect. Easy. Good. Uh, what was I saying? That's the problem with this game. That is one problem with it, is that, like, I've gotta try and, like, keep my train of thought going while playing it. But, what I was gonna say is, uh, something else that happened, if anyone... I think someone was talking about it on Discord. The, uh, I'm out of, I'm out of shit. Wait, how am I supposed to do that? I had the rocket still. Okay, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Uh, the thing with ER, how, um... PewDiePie called him out. Not called him out, like, as in, like, oh, you're a fucking shithead. I'm calling you out. But, like, gave him a call out. Like, gave him a gave him a shill. And, uh, because of that, one of his most popular videos got taken down. Fuck, I was trying to get on top of that and try cheesing it that way. One of his most popular videos got taken down. I know. I understand. Thank you for the fucking hint. Uh, got taken down and now, like... PewDiePie is getting a bunch of bad publicity for recommending a neo-Nazi, which is, like, debatably true. But it's also, like, it's just fucking good. What does it matter what his politics are, even if you're not a neo-Nazi yourself? Like, what, it, What you can't watch his stuff because he does, you don't agree with his opinion? I, like, I've never understood that. Like, I don't fucking care if some guy's a communist and he's making good shit. I mean, if he's making good shit, that's all I need, right? Oh, 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 fuck. Great. Yeah, I didn't think that would salvage it. Like, who fucking cares? I mean, if I mean, obviously, if you make that like a regular part of your work, uh, in like a very preachy way, uh, then yeah, you're not gonna really, people aren't gonna enjoy that. Fuck, I thought I could land on that. Let me get to the top of this, or die. Uh huh. But other than that, it's like if you're just making good shit, I don't care what your politics are. I don't care, you know. Like it's, I I care about good shit. If I'm- if that's what I'm looking for at the moment. But, uh, so it's just funny to see people, like, mostly go out in ER's favor. I'm stuck. Oh, right, she's on my back. Ah, oh, this fucking... But it's funny that most people are coming out on ER's side, and they're saying, like, dude, he's fucking making jokes. And, like, who- who cares? Okay, I fucked up. So, like, gas... There were even... Wait, couldn't even find Jew jokes if you don't know they're there. Well, I mean, he ends his Steven Universe video with a Hitler speech. It's not like it's subtle, but it is clearly a joke. And that's that's besides the point of whether or not he actually believes in any of that stuff. Like, that's completely separate from whether or not it is a joke. That's another thing that people don't understand. Like, just because you're making a joke about something doesn't mean you don't believe what you're saying. It's like Sam Hyde for like, there were a few, like, uh, there was a while where a lot of people didn't know if Sam Hyde was serious. And for most people, it's like, well, what does it matter? It's still funny. But then for a lot of people, that was like, not good. You know, like, they didn't agree with his politics that he was saying in what were clearly jokes, but they were afraid that the jokes were true to what he actually believed, so they didn't like his humor. You know, just because he might not agree with them on some political issues. And it's like, fuck off. It's, it, like, if it's funny, it's funny. 
Oh, fuck, I actually saved that. Like, I don't see any other stipulation there. If something is funny, that's all I need. I'm looking for comedy, not like a world view. I don't need, you know. I doubt at the end of the day he even cares. He's made millions and he's set for life. You talking about, uh, PewDiePie? I don't think PewDiePie cares at all. Do I think ER might care? Maybe a little. If his channel gets taken down, I imagine he'll care. Um, and it's too bad. Like, ER is one of my absolute biggest inspirations for, uh, like, edited shit. Like, the shit I put out on my other channel, which I want to make a lot more of. Um, I'm just a lazy asshole who doesn't put out enough. Okay, got it. How am I? Okay, I'll go right here. What? What? F fucking invisible walled me. That's... But yeah, if ER gets taken down, they're gonna... He's gonna care, I'm sure. One, because he does actually make money off of it. I don't know if he does it for a living. He, I don't think he's ever really talked about that kind of thing. Um, but he definitely makes money off it. And on top of that, he's just really fucking good. I'd be really upset if, if he got taken off of YouTube. Or taken off... I don't care if it's on YouTube. Fuck YouTube, whatever. You know? But if he got, like, taken down completely and he never went back up somewhere else, I'd be pissed. His shit is great. And, you know, I, I don't know. And I was, I've been thinking about this recently, because there's been a lot of, like, talk among some people about how YouTube is so much different, and, like, just a lot of websites in general are so much different. You were meaning PewDiePie. Okay, yeah. But it, it's really interesting how so many people, uh, it, we're entering, like, an era... Isn't that the name of the stream? A new era? That's not what I meant by it. I meant a new era because I'm streaming three days in a row, which is insane. But, uh, we're entering like a new era where you cannot make money doing a lot of the things that people made a lot of money doing on like YouTube and Twitch and shit like that. Like, I've been, I've been thinking about this. Like the, the sort of out there edgy people on YouTube who could not, if they, if they try to do something on YouTube now, they would not be at all successful because they would be taken right the fuck off. But in their time, were extremely successful, like Filthy Frank or Max Mofo, anything for views, even iDubs to some extent, like that kind of, I mean, they all like know each other. So that's like almost a, a click there. But like all those people, if, if fucking Filthy Frank tried to, tried to, uh, where am I? What? What? Am I on top of that thing? Where am I? Oh, I'm right here again. Oh, shit. If Filthy Frank tried to, like, start a YouTube career right now, well, he'd have to be fucking insane for even trying it. And it definitely wouldn't work. He'd make no money off it. Even if it got millions of views, he'd make no money off it, like, from AdSense or anything. I think he could probably still make money off it. That's what people don't realize, is that, you know, we live in the... We live in the fucking future, and it's great if you know how to take advantage of it. Uh, and, and your shit's actually good. Because you don't need advertising. You, you don't, but that's, like, a different point. But I've been thinking about that. Or, like, I don't know if any of you heard about recently, like, just yesterday, Monkey Jones got taken down. All of, like, he has, like, three channels, but one of them's just, like, a bullshit gaming channel. I'm fucking... Oh, right, I'm not using the boots again. Sorry, if Jimmy was watching, he'd be really mad at me, but luckily he's not here, so fuck him. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, his two, his main channel and his second channel both got taken down. Come on, this worked once. Both got taken down for, like, seemingly no reason, just the YouTube algorithm fucked him. And now, uh, now he's, like, lost his livelihood. Like, that's how he made money. That's how, like, that was his full-time job. And, uh, sorry, <laughs> YouTube fucked up, so you're not, you don't get to make a living anymore. Bye-bye. Really nice timing. He found out about that the same day he found out that he has high blood pressure and he might die of a heart attack in his 20s. And it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy. But it's like, we live, that's, that's, it's weird. YouTube's getting more family-friendly shit. People are, uh, not, not... People are relying on, like, YouTube and shit. Why is my grappling hook not working? That was fucking weird. And it's fucking him. It's fucking him over. Big time. Okay, I just realized using the rocket up 
gives you some some mad air. A great icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. I don't feel anything. But I don't know. It's just, I just it just kind of struck me as interesting recently how how that's happened. I should have just jumped. I'm realizing I should have just jumped and saved one of my grapples. But I guess this is fine. I don't know. It's weird. It's 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 really shitty seeing all these like YouTubers and Twitch streamers and like shit like that get taken down for bullshit reasons. I'm not talking about myself getting taken off of Twitch. <laughs> for one. It's not as bullshit of a reason as most of the other ones. I at least understand what happened. I'm hoping that I get back on there, but a lot of other people are not there there it's it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. And uh it's 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 real bullshit. And it's like these people are making good shit and like they just don't do it anymore because they don't think they can make money off it or because it just gets plain taken down even if they're not making money off it because of like just censorship because you're not allowed to have a separate opinion from someone and still be on their special uh, safe space video hosting site. Fuck. Looked like a proper town. Saved it. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. To me, the stuff you see on all media formats is just another way of controlling people. Essentially, you think how... You better think how we want, or we'll make sure you never make money again. I mean, there's some... Yeah. But I, I don't even know... Here's the thing. There's that saying, right? Never attribute to malice what can be... Uh, what's the word? Not easily. What can be... Not simply... Ignore the ignore the adverb that's supposed to go there, and I can't think of it. The, 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 it. Never attribute to malice what can be explained through stupidity, right? That that's it's one of those you know laws, some guy's name, laws, uh, and it, it makes a lot of sense. Like in this situation, I, I it could be malice. It could be that people want to control the way you think. It could be also just that they're stupid and they think people would actually care about the fact that there's some guy on YouTube who holds a different opinion than you. Or some guy on Twitch who takes his shirt off. That's not allowed on Twitch anymore, apparently. And it's just like... Uh, there's someone on fucking Twitch again. You know, someone on Twitch who says a no-no word. And they think that that's gonna, like, kill their their uh, bottom line. That's some Nazi shit. Agree with us or we'll take everything you have. Yeah, I mean, it could be that. That could be exactly what's happening. I need to get this jump a little better. That could be, like, the exact thing that's happening, but it could just be that they're stupid. And the, the companies are just trying to protect their bottom line, and they think this is how they need to do it. And they're wrong, I think. I think they... If, I, if there was, like... Oh, those must be the strings. <sighs> I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Oh. I can't... Okay, well, we're in a story section. Ugh. Ooh, these ones are like somehow more Hi gross. Guys. I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've Ooh. never seen anyone from inside the cave. Mouths don't move. My name is Arvin. This is Ingrid. Oh. And that's Tommy. No. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the I village? I really don't like these people. Village is okay, but not. I can't leave. Uh, we don't have machines and crystals. Fuck off. We're forbidden from using them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to do around here. I can't, I can't even fuck around with my grappling hook. I was hoping it'd let me, like, fuck around a little bit. They're in urban California. They probably think everyone's a liberal. Well, it's not even that. I mean, like, I don't mind. If you're a liberal, if you think that's the poli sort of policy we should have in, in the U.S., you think that we should do X, Y, and Z, those are the- that's the opinion you have. I don't fucking care when it comes to you playing video games online. If I had my own streaming service, you better believe I wouldn't be taking down some communist because he's trying- he's telling everybody to rise up in these workers' unions and go on a general strike. I don't fucking care. Say what you want. But the opposite doesn't hold true. You know, if- if someone's- if I say that I don't- 
you know, I, I think that a, I think that a fucking king should be in charge. Well, then I'm, I'm a bad man and should be taken off. No, they probably just think I was joking in that case. But if I said like, oh, the Nazis, you know, they had a, I, I like the way they were running things. That's gone. You know, like you can't, you know, one slip up on that front and uh, game over. Can I still not? I gotta wait for this bitch. And it's like, I, I don't understand. Just if someone has a different opinion from you. That is not a big deal. Over here. Like that's just something you have to learn to deal with. You don't like the things that hey. someone is saying. Boo hoo. <laughs> oh, okay. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed Ooh. by something I had done. Okay. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. Yeah, yeah. You hate your hometown, you want to move into the fucking advanced. Yeah, you want to move into the big city. I get it. This is an anti-rural message. I understand. Ooh. People in this game remind me of Psychonauts. <laughs> because they look like a- they look like a nightmare. Because, yeah, I, I agree. Let's land on this island so we can recover our grappling. Man Titty's no longer on Twitch. That's why I went there in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I can't see some fat fuck pull Cheetos out of his manfolds while playing Crash Bandicoot, wh what am I living for? Why do I go on Twitch? Why do I have an Amazon Prime account? And giving him five dollars a month if I can't see his sweet man tits. What's the point? Everybody knows Twitch is nothing more than a porn site. That's why I was on it was because people were jacking off to the sound of my voice. But it's like if I if I can't, you know, if I can't support my local Twitch thought slash uh, man child because they can't show their goods, well, what's the point? That's why that's why the site will die if they ever ban uh, uh, Twitch thoughts. Is because, like, that's fucking good revenue for Twitch. <laughs> and they probably need it, because, you know, no company expects itself to start failing. So they always use their budget. Uh, they always use their current revenue to calculate their budget, right? If they're doing really well and they're making X amount of money, they will assume that they will make X amount of money for the foreseeable future. And so they will make sure they are spending pretty fucking close to X amount of money. And, uh, then if they start making less, because they have to ban, uh, prostitutes on Twitch, well, there goes the fucking money. What's your opinion on the thought audit? Literally, yeah, we were talking about that a second ago. They might think everyone will hate the platform if they th say right-wing things. Yeah, but then, I mean, you look at, like, here's the thing. One is there's a difference between sometimes they're not even saying right-wing things, and they just get taken off because people are, like, being, it's like a witch hunt. I mean, like, Sam Hyde got his show taken off of, uh, off of Adult Swim, not because he was sh saying shit that was actually getting people angry, but because, like, one or two people complained about it and the company got scared. That's all it took, you know? It was the, com it was the company's decision. There wasn't some big outrage. It was their most popular show, which, which... That makes me think, again, that it's a matter of stupidity. Because if it was just they wanted to make more money, they would have kept Sam Hyde on the show. They would, you know, they would have kept the show because it was their most popular fucking show. So it makes me think, well, they're just stupid. I don't know. People just live stream on porn sites. They don't seem to care one bit. Yeah, but, like... Then you have the problem of who's watching porn sites. What if... I mean, there's probably a good overlap from people who get banned on, t uh, like, Twitch and stuff like that, and people who are not okay with pornography. Like, personally, if I got banned on YouTube and Twitch and shit like that, I would not feel that comfortable streaming on, uh, on Pornhub, because I don't support porn. I don't want, you know, like, say Pornhub starts some, like, you know, subscription service, like, like YouTube and Twitch have, where you can pay a certain amount of money a month and you get these emotes and stuff. If I was on Pornhub, I would never do that in a million years, because I don't want half that money going to Pornhub. I don't want to support pornography. People stream non-porno movies on Pornhub. Yeah, but you're still giving money to Pornhub. And I'm not okay with that, right? 
Like I, I'm not okay with if if they're just hosting my content and there's no other relationship between us, maybe it's acceptable. Maybe I can just say like, well, I obviously disagree with them about pornography. I think they're doing a terrible thing, but they're being nice guys by letting me be on their site. So fine. You know, that's something, but I would still be possibly bringing traffic to pornography. Uh, I just wouldn't feel good about that. I would just not, I would just not do that. So it's not exactly like a great solution because they kind of already, you know, like what the ultimate, I'm trying to land on here. There we go. The best thing would be is if there was some sort of like non-political uh, service, like some sort of non-political, great, I can't actually reach this, even though I have full charges, shit. If there's some sort of non-political service that it didn't care about the things you said, there's no fucking hate speech laws. You gotta remember that in the United States, there's no, there is no such thing as hate speech as far as like, you have freedom to say whatever the fuck you want as long as it's not fire in a crowded building like that's about the only exception we have and good good that that's the only exception there shouldn't be more exceptions really uh but you know hate speech isn't really a thing but despite that fuck i'm dead Come, uh. despite that all these websites are choosing to enforce those kind of rules so it's like some website could easily just not do that but when you come to pornography it's not non-political because they obviously hold a pretty strong stance on porn. <laughs> Which is, if not a political issue, at the very least a moral issue. So it's like you couldn't exactly... I mean, I don't imagine Pornhub... Maybe they would. Maybe they would. Maybe Pornhub wouldn't mind if you had a stream where you talked about how bad porn was. Hmm. What if I told you your videos are on Pornhub and I put them there? I would just be confused as to why you did that. But, uh, that's all, really. <laughs> all free, free speech websites cuck out whenever someone hardcore shows up. And that's not even that big of a problem, kind of. It depends on what you mean by hardcore. I understand, for instance, I think Gab or something, whatever that site is, I think it's, like, shut down now. But for a while, there was, like, a controversy about how they wouldn't allow fucking loli porn on it. And it's, like... Yeah, I understand. Personally, I think all porn is bad, but is loli porn child pornography? No, clearly not. It's a it's a fucking drawing. Uh, so no, I I like I like. I understand why people were upset about it, but it's also just the the fact that they they weren't upfront about it. I understand why they don't want to to have it on their site. In some countries, it actually is illegal. It's illegal in Canada, so I understand why they don't want to fuck around with that. But it's also at the same time, it's because they're, they seem to be changing their opinion. If from the very beginning they said, yeah, free speech is fine, but no pornography, that's a pretty old U.S. standard. Uh, free, you, uh, shit, I'm trying to loop around here. The U.S. Not to, used to not allow pornography under the free speech laws. I don't know if anyone knows that. But, uh, like, free speech laws... Like, the Second Amendment did not used to apply to pornography, because it was like, no, obviously pornography isn't free speech, it's a fucking, it's, it's morally wrong. Like, we, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, they didn't consider it to fall under that. They thought that was, like, evident. But that's changed. And, uh, if someone had a website where they felt the same way about it, I don't think anyone would be mad if they just kept consistent with that. Fuck, come on, please. There we go. Here we go. Okay. So it's kind of, that's an element of it. But the main problem is it's fucking expensive to have a website hosting site. And uh, none of them make money. YouTube is operating at a loss. A hold of that uh, okay. You could play your favorite cat girl game uncut. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's not a big benefit. Just realize your videos on your other channel are probably going to get taken down in Europe with Article 13. Uh, I've heard some mixed things about Article 13. I don't know if it's going to do as much as it said it was going to do. It's, I don't think that's going to get taken down, but there's going to be some bullshit with fucking taxes for people in Europe. Um, it might not affect me as much as... I mean, obviously it won't affect me as much as I don't live in night. Europe. There's a boat right. So I take the other one that I refuse. That one goes to the outpost. No, I would I'd like to get on. I, um, wait a minute. Oh. 
I was thinking. I I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to. I don't fucking care about this. Why do you think I care about this? Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am, kind of like you. I want to be with you too and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want from her. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. Yeah, who fucking cares? I just never thought about it until now that maybe, maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out, somewhere to be free. And I know that yeah. if anyone can find Fred, it's you. Okay. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I met you. Okay, all right, okay. It's been one singular day. It's been like a couple hours. I, I think I think you'll do all right without me. And I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. Good riddance. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. <laughs> what compelling dialogue. I mean, at least they keep it somewhat short. I think they have a general understanding that you're not here for the story. You're here to swing around on sick-ass grappling hooks. Like, that's, that's the only reason I'm here. I'm, I'm not here for the story. No one is. Even though the game is called A Story About My Uncle. You're, that's not what you're here for. The Second Amendment is for guns. I meant First Amendment. I said Second. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, just so you know, the Second Amendment does not apply for for guns. Uh, I mean, <laughs> fuck, I fucked up the f I fucked up the fuck up. The Second Amendment does not apply for uh, pornography. Pornography is not guns. I don't know if you were aware. I know this is kind of like crazy. Why? Why did the grappling hook hook not activate? I could feel it. I was getting close. It's because you're talking. I can't use the grappling hook. Something wasn't right. Oh. The grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off oh. the device, and I couldn't get a grip. Oh. I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick. This Wait. was going to be a challenge. How do I know when the ice is not thick? It's just it looks like rock instead of ice. Or I just use. I just realized. I'm an idiot. Uh, that should be. Yep. I. I they told me this earlier, and now that I remember it, I actually, like, it makes total sense. I forgot that these little markers on there show where a grappling hook has been applied, which means that's just the way Fred came. Because, look, if I do that, it leaves a little mark. Oh, well, now it's not doing it. But, uh, it, that means you just fucking grapple onto those, and you automatically know where to go. Oh, except for these. Okay, perfect. Good, because I was about to say, now that I realize that, it's a little lazy. <laughs> But these ones don't have it, so good, actually. Second Amendment supports free speech. Gonna hear me out, I have a gun. Or gotta hear me out. Yeah. Or you're going to if you have a gun. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, the Second Amendment doesn't exist. The First Amendment does not exist without the Second. There's a reason that the one country in the world where you have freedom of speech protected by law without any stupid... Uh, hate speech, uh, oh, my jetpack doesn't work either. Oh, great. The one reason why the USA is the one place you can say whatever you want without any hate speech stipulations is because it's also the one place where you can own a gun without any stipulations. With generally, without any stipulations, I mean. And that's, that's why it's, that's why it's the same people who want to limit free speech to the same people who want to limit guns. They're one and the same issue. In a, in a very weird way. I mean, obviously, if you had trust in the government, you know, then you wouldn't need the guns, I guess you could say. But, uh, I, I don't. I don't know if you do. I don't. And that's kind of the whole fucking point. I mean, you can disagree with about some of the things that the Founding Fathers, about how it ended up, you know? About how he, you know, you might have some disagreements about the U.S. and the direction it's going. And you might blame some of that on them, but they had some decent intentions. Cartoon porn's a little creepy to me. Only because jet people jack off to it. At least normal porn is real people. It's, it's like the nuts that beat off to My Little Pony. Well, My Little Pony's a little different from regular cartoon porn. I'm gonna take a drink really quick. <sighs> I 
regular like hentai shit is easier to understand when you imagine the fact that a lot of it is you know someone could easily jack off with purely their imagination so a visual aid does not necessarily need to be realistic but on top of that that it also allows for a further element of fantasy that you can't get in real pornography you know what i mean it's just in a in a very weird way it's the same reason people like books instead of live action movies in some cases because there's your mind can fill in a lot of the blanks when it's not strictly real when it's very obvious that it's not real there's also the fact that with a book you can fill in the blanks because there are blanks there there's no visual aid there's no music whereas obviously porn would have that but still you know what i'm saying Okay, what is this? Am I supposed to go up? Wait. I thought this is where I was supposed to go. I thought we were- I thought we'd arrived. Oh! When I drained the crystal, I suddenly felt the earth starting to move beneath my feet. And my mind wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of power to keep their cities afloat. I decided it was best to hurry back the way I came before mm. the Fuck, I didn't jump! This is pretty cool, though, actually. These falling blocks, I have to... Oh, yeah, this is neat. Yeah, this is neat. Gotta make it back with, like, moving targets this time. Like, I mean, there have been a couple moving targets so far. But, like, falling targets. Okay, let's... Please don't disappear. Please don't disappear. Okay, I'm, okay, fine. Get a better heart head start this time. Okay, get on top of this one. Recharge my grappling. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, it's taking a long time. Get down fast. Okay. Uh, now there. Ah, oh, fuck, I accidentally wasted one. Get on it, get on it. Okay. Go. This is, I, I like this level. I like this little bit. Get underneath it to zip onto, uh, this one. No, fuck. Fuck. Shit. Ah, oh, I was so close. Yeoman is a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I'd like to consider myself a connoisseur of most things. Pornography is not one of those things. <laughs> Other things I'd like to imagine. Which is one reason why I want to make more fucking videos. I just want to show people all this good shit that I've been lucky enough to find. That's why I'm making a video on Liberal Crime Squad. Because who the fuck has heard of that game? Like, no- nobody knows what it is. Like, like it's a pretty out there game, but it's good. It, like, it's worth a shot. It's a- it's just kind of a funny game, more than anything. Shit. Sorry, the, uh, discussion has ended for a second while I try and make this- over. I don't have the jetpack still, right? Oh, I have the jetpack? Oh, this is a little easier if you know that. Except that I fucked myself with it. But yeah, I could have made it last time just by ending with the jetpack. Okay, get on top of it. Perfect. If you can get on top of him without having to fall at all, uh, that seems to be ideal. Like, like... Uh, see, that one I had to fall a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, the jetpack makes this way fucking easier. Yep. Oh, I will have to get a little bit of air, though. A little bit of height. What? What was- what? I was going up! That- that- okay, that one was fucking bullshit. Ooh, oh, fucked myself. Nope, fine. Fine, okay. Should be able to make it here. No. Uh, see, you've gotta like look up and- But they fall at different fucking speeds! Okay. YouTube wouldn't take the chance. YouTube itself can be sued in Europe, unlike in America where the creator would just get sued and YouTube just has to take the video down. Which means the laws are too vague in Europe with no fair use. Which means commentary and augmentation isn't allowed. I don't know if it's gonna go that far, because from what I've read of the, uh, 
Article, what is it? 19, 15, 9, 9, <laughs> 13. Article 13. Uh, from what I've seen of it, it's mostly a tax on fucking uploading and downloading shit. Like, it's some sort of ridiculous tax they're doing, which doesn't necessarily seem to control what gets made, but just... Well, it will obviously control what gets made if you gotta pay a fucking tax to do it. Um, but I don't know if it'll, it will actually stop someone from, like, seeing a video of mine, for instance. But if I was in Europe, it might definitely stop me from making said video. Although if there's a tax for, like, downloading shit, then there would be definitely... I don't think people would use their daily allowance of internet on me. Oh, I don't know what they would use it on. Probably Facebook or some stupid shit, but... I don't know. I've just heard that, uh... Article 13 was sort of like... Not overblown, but was misconstrued by people, but it's worse than it, people thought it was, but in different ways. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... Uh, what I've heard. I haven't looked a lot into it, because I'm not European, and... Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I haven't had a lot of time. But um, from what I've heard is that it was kind of... People are thinking it's bad for a different reason than why it's actually really fucking bad. That could be purely wrong, though, so don't, don't take my word for that. Please don't. Could be very wrong. Come on, 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 come on! Whew. No! Fuck! There, there we go. Don't. Shit. The UK is dead. I don't know what you mean by that. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, you mean like inevitably? I mean, maybe. Uh, nothing really big has happened in the UK recently. I mean, yeah, Brexit is fucking him up, but who didn't see that coming? I mean, the moment the Brexit vote went through, my first thought was, oh yeah, they'll, re they'll undo that. Yeah, that won't- I mean, like, you look at everything going on in the EU, and that's their- that's their MO, is they just- they wait a while, or not wait at all, sometimes, and then they just try again. They- they wait until public opinion changes, or they just hope it- they don't even fucking care, and they just pass it through anyway. Like, uh, in the Netherlands, where they voted to not allow, uh, I think it was like- I think it was not to allow some country into the EU, and the Netherlands gets- a vote on that. That was part of their um, conditions for joining the EU. And the Netherlands voted no. So then the EU took away the Netherlands' ability to vote on that anymore. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like your vote really fucking matters in Europe. Who didn't, uh, like, who didn't see that coming? Who didn't see that the UK was just gonna say, like, let's, let's try the vote again. Like what happened with, uh, Ireland with, um, was it gay marriage or abortion? I'm trying to remember which it was, but uh, the vote wouldn't go through. Ireland kept voting against, I think it was abortion laws. It was one or the other, but let, let's say abortion just so I can finish the sentence. It might have been gay marriage, but uh, they kept voting no. So the law just kept getting proposed over and over again until they voted yes. Like that's all they do is they vote and vote and vote and vote until finally they get the results they want. You would think that voting over and over again, so close to each other, would, uh... Would give the same result, but of course, that implies that the votes are fair. <laughs> Which is not a given. That's not something you can take for granted. Uh, they very well might not be. I don't know. It's- it, I'm, I'm not surprised that the EU is- uh, that the UK is fucking that up, because that's exactly what always happens. I don't know why the UK would be any different unless they had the balls for the entire country to, uh, like, say something about it. But of course they don't, because no one does. You can't- it's pretty hard to get an entire population of people. You can't actually grab onto that. I fucked myself. You can't get an entire population of people to be anti what they're being told. That's just as simple as that. You can get a sizable part of the population. You can maybe get everyone if it, like, if it tilts. You know, like, if it finally falls over and people start to just not trust the mainstream shit entirely. But for the most part, some people are gonna keep buying it no matter what they're saying. They can lose all credibility and some people are still gonna, you know... At least for a long time, it's gonna stay that way. And it's like, what are you gonna do? 
So the UK is, is yeah, it's fucked. Of course it is. It's part of the EU. They're all fucked. They're fucked for now, anyway. I mean, it's the German Empire over again. Who's in charge of the EU? It's, it's ruled mostly by Germans. Like, the people who have the most to gain from the EU are the Germans. I'm not saying anything anti-German here. Especially since the average citizen doesn't, doesn't fucking know what's going on. Who does? But it's like... It's just the- it's just another German empire, but this time led by a fucking very anti-German Germany. <laughs> like... <laughs> Which is funny! But... Hey. And the Belgians, you know, but hey. Come on. This isn't video games, though. We're talking about things that aren't video games. I just care about video games. <laughs> The rest of the shit I become increasingly apathetic about. Recently I've become a little less apathetic. I've gotten a little bit of my zeal back. I'm happy about that in some cases. Especially I was, I was thinking about piracy recently and how much I love it. And how much I've, I've gotten some zeal about that recently. Online content sharing service providers and right holders shall cooperate in good faith in order to ensure that unauthorized protected works or other subject matter are not available on their services. That is extremely vague. And uh, Article 11 is the tax. Oh, I see. That is extremely vague and that sounds like a really bad idea. The EU seems not to care one bit about population in Europe to the extent that the far right is pretty much rising up in every nation. True, yeah, I mean, there's that. But, uh, I don't know. Red Dead Redemption, when? I don't, isn't it not on PC? Is it on PC? Is two on PC? The first one isn't on PC. They never ported it, but, uh, that's something I was thinking about talking about, is the fucking, I watched this video recently, highly recommend it, really, really highly recommend it, it's this guy's video on why you should pirate anime, it's called why, why you should pirate anime 2, or something like that, it's by this guy, unique name, Asaurus, uh, his name is shitty, um, the way he talks reminds me of, like, someone in high school, like an awkward kid in high school, I, I kind of hate his voice, especially when he does like one of those little nervous laughs, but his video is stellar, and I think that says something that like, uh, or at least what I've seen of it. I've only watched the first segment, it's like an hour long video, I've watched like 20 minutes or 30. Uh, but it's good enough that I look past the, vo the fact that I hate his voice. Uh, <laughs> and it's really good, admitting to piracy on a live stream. I didn't say I'd do it, but his video is, is very good. It, it talks about why, in anime in particular, but he also makes allusions to, uh... That's not the right word. He also talks about, um, video games to some extent, and reasons you, why you should piracy... You sh why you should pirate things because of anti-consumer practices, like tying certain, uh, games to certain consoles for no other reason but to make you buy their shitty console. Um, which is anti-consumer and may or may not fall under antitrust laws in the U.S. and should probably, under those antitrust laws, be illegal. Uh, very interesting. I would definitely give that video a watch. But that's what made me think about that is, I don't know if Red Dead Redemption is on, in, is on PC, but the first one isn't. And that one's not really a good example because that's probably just they didn't have the money to port it. Um... They probably didn't think they were going to make money off it. Whatever. But you look at something like, like, Breath of the Wild, that Nintendo could easily port onto PC. That is evident by the fact that it runs on emulators better than it runs on the Switch currently. Like, it currently runs that well on emulators, not even like an official thing. Okay, I finally fucking made this. Whew. Uh, but they're not doing that simply because they want you to buy a Switch so that you can play their game. It, nothing about the Switch makes it to where you need it to play the game. Right? There's nothing special about the Switch. It's not like the Switch... It's not like the Wii, where, like, sometimes they made some games that, like, you couldn't play without owning a Wii. That makes sense. But, like, Breath of the Wild can run on PC, and it runs better on PC. And so they're using copyright laws 
for something that wasn't the original intention of copyright laws, which the original intention was so that you could sell that work without anyone else just stealing it and have it, you know, investing no time and money into it but getting all the profit. But this, you're tight, you're, you know, they still have that right. They can still, uh, where do I need to go from here? Over there. They can still buy and sell their, or they can still sell their game however they want to, also but. Also the grapple beam, but as they did, they seemed to recharge the oh. grappling device. But that right doesn't protect their ability to tie it to some garbage. It's it's something that's that's it's part of antitrust laws in the U.S. is that tying goods is not supposed to be allowed. For instance, if I say I've got this sweet fucking new cell phone that is the best cell phone on the market, but I will only sell it to you if you buy the my fucking shit straight out of the toilet that I dumped there this morning. <laughs> 